Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to get Android Auto to work on your MIB1 equipped Golf. Now in my previous video I've explained to you how to get it uh, to work with CarPlay using the module that to install it into your or behind your glove box rather. Now uh, in this video um, now I have been getting a lot of questions about Android Auto, how uh, if it does work. Now I uh, have an iPhone, but I also have uh, my work phone, which is an Android. And I'm gonna see if um, how to get it uh, to connect to uh, to the module and how to get Android Auto to um, yeah to work with your uh, Golf basically. Now I've also been getting. Um, quite some questions about how does uh, this interface work now as you can see the carplay just works it it still works very smoothly it works great it does everything i want it to do uh, google maps for example which is is uh, is great the main screen having maps my music and if i want to go uh, type in a route or even um, use voice control to put in a route that uh, it just works uh, very good smooth and if I want to get out uh, of the menu, go back to my traditional golf menu, I just hold the media button and um, I'm back in the golf menu. The buttons all just work pretty much the same. Um, I would even say if you would sell the car this way that you probably won't even find out that there is CarPlay because all the buttons, they it, it just works, just regular. Um, yeah, and if you just hold the media button, it will open CarPlay again. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back um, and see if I can get it to work, Android Auto with the module. Okay, so um, I just put my camera here on the uh, on the rest, so I hope you can see it this way. Now I'm just gonna pretend that I've just installed the unit, um, and when I start the car, this is the first thing I see. Uh, no phone has been uh, connected to it, um, so let's just pretend that my iPhone is not connected or anything. Um, and you just want to have your Android phone connected. Now, the first thing you do is uh, the same trick, hold the media button and it will open the um, multimedia menu. Now, normally I would go for iOS, but now if you press Android, it says no Android device connected. That's pretty obvious. Uh, I still haven't done anything on my phone. So settings, go to, uh, I haven't looked into this before, but um, let's just see. Before uh, we're gonna go pairing um, with my phone. Let's just see how this goes. Um, discover and connect. It. Oh yeah, Bluetooth. Um, let's just check Bluetooth on my phone. Uh, pair with CarPlay, yes. Oh, okay, well first I'm gonna have to install uh, Android Auto. Obviously, I did not have that. I did. I know. Okay. Let's just see what it does. Okay. Well, something is happening on screen. Okay. All right, what's well, thinking a bit? Hey, there's my navigation. Let's just see what it does. It's still thinking a bit, but I guess that's Android Auto. So let's just check if, um, if I want to get out, get back to the Volkswagen menu. There you go. Back to the Android Auto. Okay, well, I'm just gonna scroll through some things. I have a lot less apps on my Android than on my iPhone, but uh, for, I'm gonna scroll through it, but I'm gonna, they're not, okay. Well, I can just, I can just call people here. That's fine. It just works the same way as with, uh, with my iPhone sort of. Go back, this is the home menu. Maps, Google Maps. Yeah, well, we already saw that. Good. Uh, 
settings. Yeah, okay, you can just some basic settings. Oh, that's all also nice. If you say, for example, in the settings menu, press here, go to Google Maps. These are the apps that are already open. That's nice. Weather, okay. This has to take. Uh, oh, that does not work. Maybe it's my weather app. I mean, uh, the, it obviously is connected, but uh, um, it's a bit different than uh, Apple CarPlay, YouTube Music, which is my uh, preferred app for music. Homepage. Okay, well, this looks uh, this looks the same as with CarPlay. That's fine. Replay. Yeah, just the same songs that I have on CarPlay. Let's just check it out. For example, uh, that works. I'm not gonna play it because I'm gonna. I might get a copyright claim for that, but it works. Audio works. That's good. So, yeah, I guess, well, I don't have uh, many apps on my Android phone, but if you would have more apps, then um, they would probably appear here if they are supported for Android Auto. So, um, so yeah, uh, if you want to get out of, of this whole menu, uh, close. Yeah, that puts it back to the, the home screen of the module. Um, so, there you go. It works good with the module. So uh, right now I'm just gonna put it back to my iPhone. Um, yeah, it's, I can just connect it with my iPhone. Yeah, turn Wi-Fi on. Well, I think it is. There you go. So as you can see, the menus are pretty similar. If you're used to Android or Apple. It doesn't really matter. Both menus uh, they work uh, pretty good on this uh, on this setup. So uh, so yeah. Um, uh, tell me in the comments down below what you think of it. Um, if this has if th this video if this video has answered some of your questions, now uh, you can always ask questions uh, down below in the comments section or contact me through Instagram. Um, I do have a normal work life, obviously, so I'm not uh, be able to uh, respond all the time. But uh, but yeah, just uh, check it out. And uh, if you liked it, uh, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, feel free to comment down below. Okay, thanks.